Guys, it's time once again. Let's check it out. Bye. Hey guys, and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Tom, and this is Real Videos. So guys, we are getting there with the uh, equipment. We're getting the uh, recording stuff sorted out, which is nice. Things are coming along nicely. The pit of no return is, is <laughs> greatly increasing. So thank you guys very much for coming to join me here yet on another episode. Of space engineers so while you guys were gone I have been busy uh, we've done a bit of, well quite a bit of grinding as you can hear the processor going we got I don't know if you remember from the last episode we've got this finished this controls the doors well the doors are not quite finished yet but you can see what's gonna be happening soon that's quite a nice little effect I think I'm quite chuffed with that that's gonna be wicked when it's finished we have got some of the walls closed in now. This is our access to our large storage. Which is quite nice, I think, to be honest. Go up here. Now, this is what you guys haven't seen. Basically, what I did is, because we needed access... I wanted to have access outside, but I didn't quite want it on the ground. What I decided to do was to cover the large storage over with a grid. So I put a door in here because we're putting a wall, we're putting windows up here from a suggestion from one of our previous uh, subscribers. So we're going to put a door in there, and what I've done is I put railings around here, as you can see. This serves no purpose but to basically have a viewpoint. You know, we can have a look around. I wish though, I just wish we could put like furniture and stuff on here. You know, so I could put a couple of chairs out here and maybe a table. That'd be nice. You know, just a thing. Just thinking. You know. It's always a good idea to do some thinking. I finished off this bit over here. So we're getting there. We've now got the rack finished off completely. That obviously might be changing. Uh, I put a little support. Not like it's net. You don't need to put a support wall in, but I like to kind of ground it in a bit of factuality. We will be needing to increase this thing from a basic refiner to a refiner. Um, and the basic assembler to an assembler. So that's two things we need to do there. Uh, also, just to let you guys know, I've also done some work out here. So what I did is I got rid of the just the stairs going down. I built a balcony. So now I have access to this cargo container from this side. So when I'm working, moving the drill, which I will be doing, uh, I can just grab the components, stick it in there, uh, and not worry about not worry about basically losing dropping on the ground or losing it like that our first objective today is to finish off the power tower that we started that's one thing we definitely need to do okay <clears throat> so what do we need I think we need some of these some of these uh, I think that's all we need to finish off the power tower let's go have a look our little stairs going up now. We're closing all this off because you know we don't want that little dip there. I'm gonna close that off, and this is gonna be a you know a little another little balcony area. Right, let's go up and see if we can finish this off, shall we? Nope, there's one. There's one. Happy days. No, I need some motors on that one. Okay. Oh, this one's finished. Oh, yeah. Alright, that one's finished. So we need some motors for that one over there. Woohoo! Happy days. Right, motors we have. Okay. Go up. Right. Now what we need to do is stick one of these in the middle, which we're gonna actually I'll tell you what we're gonna do. I wanna actually I wanna finish the middle block off. Because once we put a tower in there, we will be able to 
Oh, the fuel's low. Fuel's low. Whoop, whoop. Gotta get some fuel. Fuel critical. Not anymore, it's not. Right. So, yeah, so what we're gonna need to do is get some st steel plates here that I've been making like crazy. Don't need that many. Let's chop those to a down, I think. There should be enough. So it falls should be more than enough. Okay, we'll go over the middle bit. We'll land here. Right. So this is our go well. I'm going to just do this right there. Okay. So now we're getting somewhere. We'll land on our little deck here. Run through our little deck door. Close door behind us. We will be needing to finish this wall off. But that's at least the tower is done. So we have power tower. We have backup power if we need it. We just leave that basically as it is. Uh, let's see. Yep. Fully stored power. Okay, so basically I made this battery uh, in case of we get attacked and we need some emergency power. We will be needing to finish these door, these gates. Let's see if I got enough. Let's see what we can do here. Right, let's, let's finish off that one. Actually, tell you what, let's try to do two. All right, okay. Twenty-nine construction components and thirty-three small tilled tubes. Okay, let's see a little. What I'm going to do though, before I finish this off, I need to make sure that we have the gates open because when we when we finish these containers here, they will be open and otherwise these will be out of sequence. So whenever you're building sections and you've already done the controls, make sure these panels are open because when you finish building something, the panel will be open it's by default. See what I'm saying? Already open, so that's basically where we want to go. Right. The refuel. Oh yeah. Let's keep going. Construction component steel plates as well. All right. All right. Let's get doors again. Where are they? There they are. One, two, three, four. Okay. Another one done. Oh, just need some steel plates for that one. That'll be finished as well. Uh, technically, it's finished, but you know what I'm saying. Right. We are starting to make some headway. Bum, 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 bum. I have get some really good feedback from people uh, who play this game and I've just wanted to say to you guys who are giving me genuine feedback and I'm quite blessed that I've not been touched by too many trolls I mean I've had a few trolls uh, which obviously the comments are auto deleted because of the graphic nature of these trolls but generally um, all my subscribers and people who've left comments I have been sound as anything as sound as anything.
Take some of that stone out there. That should be in there. That should be in there. Right. Let me go get some more fuel. Ah, boom. So we gotta finish these doors off. Ooh, went the wrong way. So we got two more doors to go, I think. Got two more doors to go. Went to Mount the Meadow. Two more doors to go. Right. So we need to make. First things first. Let's go open the doors again. Where are they? There they are. Get rid of those. I only just need two. Right. I should be making those times. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do do do. Right. See, this is why I did this. You see now. A nice look at all that. Let me go quickly go down here. This is why I did the the gravel extraction thing. Look at all this gravel. Absolutely ridiculous. But now you know why I did it. Right. Okay, I'm gonna quickly fly over to the mine. Actually no. Why well, just drive over there real quick? I think do we need to drive over there guys? We need to move the car so we can finish the paint line. That's one thing we need to do. Alright, switch it to auto. Disconnect. Get out of the vehicle. Alright, now we want to finish this off. Boom. Yellow. Right, I think that's it. Yeah. Right. I always switch it back to you know whatever we need basically. They always switch the colour back to the default colour I find. That works a lot better. Now you see I've got a nice even line. What I wanna do is I'm gonna have to take this one out here finish that one off so I can finish that one off. I can't get to it underneath, I don't think. It's worth a try though. We'll have a bit of a butchers. Alright, let's see. Take those out. I know I'm not going to use them all. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Right. This one. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, my bit, my bit. Excellent. Right. So that worked out better than I'd hoped, actually. So now we have a clear line going in. Right, get back in there. Reverse. Zoom in a bit here. Oh, that's not on. There you go. Right. Coming along quite nicely now. We're getting that. I'm sure there's a better way of doing it, but to be quite honest, I'm liking... Whoa. My front wheel's off the ground. They appear to be. Huh. Oh well. It's connected, that's the main thing. So yeah, I know there's a better way of doing it, but the way I like it, you know what I mean? And the wheel configuration, I did have one subscriber who did like the wheel configuration. I tend to find... The, the three wheel configuration, especially when you've got front drill parts here, I tend to find it works as better. Uh, normally, uh, if possible, go for a four. I mean, if you can fit a four wheel configuration, even better, but three wheel kind of works for me. I've tested the two and I find it tips too easy. With the three, it gives you a bit more weight. And also, with the mining, I always recommend people to increase the strength 
of their wheels. Now, I, I've said to you before in this previous video, but if you go into the control panel and you go down to your wheel section, to so use as an example, wheel, come over to here, you have strength. Now, this is the strength of the wheel bouncing back to its or being pulled away from its default position. So the stronger it is, the less likely it is to be pulled away to hold its position from its, its hold its default position. So something you guys want to look at. Right. What was I doing? What was I doing? I was going to finish those off. Right. Okay, let's go. Steel plates and construction components, right? Oh yeah. Steel plates and construction components. hundred in there just for the hell of it. You never can never have too many construction components. Once these doors are closed, once these doors are finished, we hit the button and hey presto when I will start looking at the windows. Now we can put the flat windows in um, which are basic windows which basically let me quickly show you guys we could put these in Those in. We can get around. They look all right. Those windows can be in, or we can put the industrial-looking windows in, which are these type of things. Those. I do like. Oh, actually, I tell you what, we could do. We could put them in like that, couldn't we? That would be cool. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll do like that. Something like that, like industrial looking. I think that'll work out quite well. Let me just top up my fuel again. And yes, I have had a comment before about um, keeping an extra tank on me. That is actually a good idea. But I keep thinking about, yeah, I should do that. And next thing I know, I didn't do it. It's because I'm close to home. If I wasn't so close to home, I mostly would get an extra tank. Because I'm right here, there's not much point we carrying it, to be honest. Eighty-eight. Oh, we're almost there. Almost there. Hundred of them. Okay, hundred and ten. Oh yeah. Then we'll start closing this in. I'm gonna make either I might make this black actually, the ground here, the black. Uh yeah, let me know, guys, if you think this black will be good color. By all means. Think about putting a railing here maybe. Like you know, a fencing here. Uh, just a little tiny fence, just one. Just to give it a bit more of a industrial field, and I'll put a couple of fencings here, uh, just for the hell of it. You know, what I mean, just see how it looks. If you guys think I should just leave it like that and put black in with one stripe of yellow, the reason I put the yellow in for two reasons: one, I think that would look pretty cool, uh, and two, it's going to be easier when I'm reversing to find out what the line of the connector is. It's a straight line. I use that little trick quite often: is to use paint as a guidance for something else. Right, I just need to find that and 
So I need yet steel plates and construction components. We have got the construction components. I know that. Six. All right. Now I know we're not finished, but we can see what this looks like now. Oh, look at that beautiful thing! Right. From the outside. Look at it! But there is no way of opening the doors from the outside. That's I have noticed. We have to put maybe some sort of like. Uh, see, I've got it here. Maybe some sort of. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I'm liking that. We're gonna have to put some sort of deal over here. I think. Hmm. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Right. Let's get some more stone out storage here. As you can see, I've been caning the grinding to the point where I had to stick loads in here. To be in I thought I'd do some I thought I'd do a lot of harvesting off camera so you guys wouldn't have to watch me you know boring grinding boring just love that that's absolutely brilliant Ooh, that's gonna be an epic little gate look at that boom that is our garage now I will definitely be putting glass on the top of this um, the reason being I've decided to put glass on the top of this is because when I'm reversing, I actually use a top-down view to reverse. And I think that would work. Right. We're waiting for that stuff to be uh, processed. I'm going to go ahead and... Sort of have a look at these windows. So I'm going to take that one. Boom. That'll be the bottom. Alright, and what I'll do, I think, is maybe I'll do one, skip one, two, skip one, three, skip one, four. Now I don't really want it, wait, no, wait a minute. I don't want it next to the edge. So one there, one there. Hmm, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. So one there, and one there. Or just two, maybe, and maybe one in the middle. Or I could just come over a bit, I suppose. Yeah, come over a bit. One, two, and three. Yeah, okay, cool. I think that's gonna work nicely. I think that is going to work nicely. Right, let's just finish these gates off. Wow, still a little more. Fuel low. Okay, let's get some fuel. Fuel critical. Ooh, fuel is critical, people. Fuel is critical. Right. I'm gonna have 364 in that box. Here. I'm gonna get some more steel plates because we desperately need them. And it's not just for the uh, 
garage that we need steel plates, but we needed to start closing some of this, some of these things in. You know what I mean? So, in case you guys are wondering why I've got loads of stone in my storage now, on the last couple of ep last episode when I sorted out this uh, conveyor system, I basically whitelisted everything to go into this storage, which was the plan. But neglecting the, the process stuff, and this is the reason why I wasn't getting anything. This is why I've got such a large deposit in here, is because everything that my vehicle was depositing wasn't going into the refinery, it was getting sucked down here into here. And I didn't know, and I was like, well, I'm doing all this grinding and I'm not getting any resources. Well, I was looking at my storage this morning. Uh, doing a bit of grinding, I thought I'd come online, do a bit of grinding before tonight's episode. And I noticed I got a big stack of stone in there. I'm like, where's that big stack of stone come from? And then I looked, I thought to myself, and I was racking my brain and I couldn't figure out where all the stone had come from. And then I looked and I was like, wait a minute. And I looked at the conveyor sewer and sure enough, in the conveyor sewer, I had not told it to ignore stone. So all the stone, in fact, it wasn't just stone as well, it was some other minerals as well, was being sent to this. As you can see, it's not only that, um, I was, all the ice got sucked, well, most of the ice got sucked in. I thought it was the ice, but then it turns out I actually put the ice in there myself. Um, the cobalt was in there, and the nickel was in there. So yeah, it was, it was really frustrating me, while I was like, where did all the stone come from? And I just wanted to be clear with you guys, you know what I mean? I don't... Hence the name of the video. I don't want you guys to think I'm pulling a fast one, you know. Um, because I want you guys to know to know that everything I do in this game, you guys can do as well. Wow! 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 Whew. We're almost finished with those doors. So this episode is finishing the power tower. Finishing these garage gates. Uh, we've finished the the you know access point for the thing. What I will be doing um, in the next episode is sorting this out. This will clearly need to be resorted uh, because it's, it's very linear. It will go up. It will go in a straight line, and that's it. What I want to do is I want to put this away. I'm going to basically close this is going to be used for future reference so I will be I will be building down here eventually but I just want for now what I want going to do because that was the whole idea behind this is I'm going to remove this and this um, so all basically this entire section is going to be removed I'm then going to basically move this I mean and I am going to extend it quite quite considerably like out to about here yeah so I'm going to st and basically we're gonna build a mining rig basically and that's what we're gonna be doing there I will be clever and closing covering this over temporarily just because I, I don't want to accidentally like, fall in it as you guys have seen I've done a couple times already so yeah that is the plan basically as you can see by that little hole there, that digging hole, is where I fell in and I had to dig my way back out because I had no fuel. So, we've got a little storage there for our, our stuff that we need. We have turned the drill on and off and position. Oh, okay, okay. Boom. How much easier is that, eh? Anyway, I digress. Let's carry on with this and we'll just wait for these resources to be made. Another 60 plates. Hopefully, that'll do it. Alright, that's it. Our gates are done. Right. Let me get some more fuel real quick. Okay. Boom. 
So what I'm going to need to do quickly also get some thumbnails for this real quick. Give me two seconds, guys. Right. Come along nicely, nicely, nicely. So finishing the power tower and the garage doors, basically. That's still blowing. Okay. Can come over here from this angle because I want to get enough space. Boom. Alright, let's get rid of my tool. Let's get rid of the HUD. And we have. Look at that, that, if I do say so myself, is nice. Oh yeah, I'm liking that a lot. Anyway, all right, let's get my tool out again. And get the hood back up. Okay. And we are going to go ahead and call it there. We've got a good thing to do today. We've got the power tower, tower power working, tower power, tower off power working. We have finished the garage doors, which is very cool. We're going to be starting on the next episode. We'll be starting on the windows, hopefully. Uh, yeah, we're going to be going from there. All right, guys. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you for coming to check out Real Videos. All right, guys, stay awesome. See you guys there. Bye-bye now. Right, guys, as always, I am found on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. Guys, don't forget to check me out. And guys, if you want to see more content like this, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. See you guys later. Bye.